Alex Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As The Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. Swirling like a disco ball. I am Mike Dan. What are we drinking? <laughs> Mike, we have a beer from the Copperleaf Brewing Company. Love Copperleaf. And All right, is what in, is this? This is in uh, collaboration with the Peacemaker oh, Brewing Company. Oh, a Pete. Hey. Two great breweries Two coming local together FLX. to foster this yes. delicious offspring. <laughs> <laughs> Full transparency, um, we've already had this. Uh -huh. So this beer... Uh, was canned on 4-2, 2024. Oh, perfect. And this is called Saturday Night South Saturday India Pale Lager. Um, like so yeah, it's it's brewed with uh, Sabro and Cascade Hops and Ooh. also Savan Hop Sauce. I'm in. And, sauce. Uh, sauce. Love it. And uh, it was brewed with uh, Wireman, Pilsner Malt, Simpson Golden Promise of Vienna, and Flaked Oats. Just pull that out and, of your head uh, like that without looking anything up. Yeah, totally. Getting better. <laughs> Uh, 6.7 ABV. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, Copperleaf is out of Pittsburgh, New York. Yes. And Peacemaker is out of Canandaigua, New York. Two. Both in the heart of the FLX. Exactly. Baby. Two breweries just in the heart of the FLX. Two breweries we really enjoy. Uh, this is a collaboration we really were excited about. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. I'm getting a pour today. You are getting a pour. Uh, full transparency, I have imbibed on this beverage. I have had already. this in can form and on tap at Peacemaker. So, so that is a honey golden clear bit of goodness. Nice foamy rocky head on it. A couple carbonation bubbles throwing up there. Hashtag Pikachu glass. Um, I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, uh, Clay. Uh, Clay is the head brewer and co-owner of uh, Copperleaf Brewing. Real uh, good guy. Uh, yeah, good friend. Uh, I used to test his beers before they opened the brewery. Yeah, and stuff. And yeah. He, brought, he invited me over to this house, and like he would bring beers to Crafty Owls and Lagers over in Phelps. Yep, I remember you talking and, about uh, that. Yeah, day. just like he makes some good classic beers, and then you know, then on the other side. There's Peacemaker. Uh, Mike frequents them more. Uh, yeah, yeah. Know. They're a great local establishment. Um, always good beers on tap. They're Thousand Yard Stair Scotch Ale is one of my favorites. Right. Bought some of that recently. Nice. And, uh, but yeah, I got to have this uh, down there on tap. Uh, it was fantastic. And then I proceeded to buy some. So there we All go. Right. Let's, <laughs> Let's uh, get, get into it, boy. Man, it just it, it looks so nice. Though. It really does. It really does. Uh, it, I'll tell see, you what. It see, matches, the Pokemon's hold it. Look at that. It matches the can label. I was going to say, looks great. I was going to show you the phone, but the all my Pokemon are just... You know, Beer foam, I choose you. <laughs> I was pegged you more for a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. I took a sip. It smells... We've had it before. I, I know. Whatever. But they haven't. I know, you can tell. That. I was it's, very, it's a very nice, juicy, candy... Fruity sweetness to it. Yeah, a bit of grape skin. Little, yeah, and a little bit of like wheat thin crackery. So, do you get like a this back there? Let me ask you, do you get a little tropical like coconut kind of thing going on? No. You do though? Okay. Especially on the taste. The nose is a little bit subdued, to be honest. Mm. I feel like the, the flavor is much more like syrupy. Like it's a a dry kind of syrup. I would say the the mouth feels syrupy. Mm -hmm. uh, body's pretty full. Uh, actually, it's really. It full. is. It, it's a heavy for the beer. For Six point seven. Is. This like, drinks far heavier. I've had like eight percent beer. Yeah, yeah, far. absolutely. I, uh, I but yeah, it, it, it's like a it's a syrupy hop candy. It's like if you took like hops and made Jolly Ranchers, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, um, there is a real nice like uh, like floral note to it. Uh, like almost like a lavender kind of floral bit, and I think that kind of gives it some bitterness, breaks it up, mm. a little bit of vegetal, but, man, this is good. See, that's what I really love. There's that sweet syrupy thing that we talked about on the forefront, mm -hmm. but then as it goes down, it kind of gets uh, broken up. That carbonation kind of comes through, breaks it up, and then, uh, like, all the different, like, citrus mm. and tropical things start happening, uh, and then meets with, like, this white wine crisp kind of mineral totality kind of overall thing and then just transforms in this nice resinous pine so roll with me on this one I, I get like a there's also kind of a nice honey sweetness back there and i think it almost 
it almost lends itself to if I didn't know this drinks kind of like an amber lager type thing. It, I get like a nice honey crispness back there, it, which which I think then harkens me back to this drinks almost a little West Coasty for an, for the IPA style. I I yeah. think it's a a resinous like you said resinous pine bit back there with some citrus. Dude, I'm telling you, if I sit here and chew on this though. Mm -hmm. I get that tropical paradise kind of coconut thing going on. There's so much going on in this beer, and it's very welcomed. It's so good. It, it, it's a good one. I think the Sabra brings a lot to this. I think you're right. It's very right. bittering, but there's just a sweet tropical citrus. Man, the Cascade, though, like that Cascade grassy bitterness back there, I think that kind of citrus note to it oh. just really balances everything out. It's a good beer. Maybe not the right glass for the... So the nose is... It's there, but maybe it's just not the right glass for this, but it's bombastic. I, I like that the nose is a little more subtle so that the flavor Bam. pops even more. That, the, that's my jam. This almost takes over the palate. Oh, yeah. I think you're right. It's a... It's borderline palate killer? I mean, borderline, yeah. Like, if I... Yeah, this is good. Like, it's to the point where it's like, well, I guess I can't drink a different beer after. I'll just drink another one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not a problem. All right, what do you rate uh, it, Mike? Uh, I give it a solid 4-2. Four, two. Yeah, 4-2-5. Four, four, yeah. All day. Delicious beer. Beautiful beer. Uh, if you are local to Canandaigua, Pittsburgh, uh, I actually got a four-pack at Steamers, uh, Basin, and Steamers, no, Steamers Marathon. <laughs> In Bushnell's yeah. Basin. Yeah, there you go. I, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It's a mouthful. Uh, that's over in, you know, obviously right outside yeah. of Pittsburgh. And I got uh, my right at Peacemaker. Um, okay, yeah. So if you're in the FLX, if you're even visiting the XL, FLX area, you are doing yourself a disservice if you're not checking out Copper Leaf and Peacemaker. Yeah. Fantastic produce. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the day we're filming, they're having a big collab fest down there. And Are we there? No. We're here filming for the brand, so... We're doing our part. Yep, we're doing our part. All right, gang. Uh, until next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Cheers.